Cam Wyland. Most authors are aware of how important it is to avoid plot holes and inconsistencies. However, sometimes it's the little details more than the large ones that bedevil us with their discrepancies. You'd think, as authors, we'd be so close to our stories that we'd instantly realize the error of calling a minor character by a different name the second time he appears. You'd think we'd see our protagonists so clearly we'd never make the mistake of giving them blue eyes in one scene and brown in another. But the sad truth of the matter is, it happens. At least in the days before such handy features as Word's fine tool, authors had more of an excuse for their forgetfulness. For example, Elizabeth Gaskell's beloved classic Wives and Daughters, published posthumously in 1866, is rife with niggling inconsistencies. She blithely, and one would assume obliviously, changed one character's name from Sally to Dorothy to Clorinda and back again. Another character's surname darted between Fitzpatrick and Kirkpatrick. The local tavern was called the George in one scene, and the Cumnor Arms in another. And the political alignments of two prominent families flip-flop between Whig and Tory somewhere in the middle of the book. Ultimately, it's inevitable that every story contains some error, no matter how many objective eyes have read it. The good news in all of this is that if you write as well as Gaskell, your readers will likely forgive you. But that doesn't negate the author's responsibility to be wary of inconsistencies. Write yourself copious notes, check and double-check yourself, and ask beta readers and critique partners to be on the watch for discrepancies. Your readers will thank you, and you'll be able to avoid embarrassing discoveries later on.